My question is about the process of connecting to source and what I seem to do is put little hurdles in my way uh, in terms of I have to do this to get to source, I have to think my way through to source, I have to um, you know, connect or understand it or somehow master it to get to source. And I can, I'm capable of just finding a nice clear way to source but I'm, I, I don't sustain that. You know, what I do is I... But you, I you have said the most important thing because most everyone finds themselves either close to the vicinity of the vortex or in it every day for a moment. So the key is to be aware when you're having one of those moments and then milk it a little. And, and in doing so, you practice the vibration and the more you fat practice the vibration then the easier it is to sustain it in fact you've said something else really important here and that is when you are aware that there is a stumbling that you're stumbling a little bit and then you try to overcome the stumble that's like practicing being out of the vortex mm -hmm. And a lot of people, very well-meaning, do that. They're, they're trying too hard. They're aware that they're not there, so they're trying. So it's a very good mindset to say, well, I'm just going to watch and see when I'm naturally feeling better, and then I'm just going to try to milk that a little longer. Mm -hmm. We encouraged Esther uh, uh, a few weeks ago, as she was basking her way to sleep, to... Find a word that represented a feeling and just hold that word. In other words, the premise of our conversation with Esther is this. What you're observing in your physical format with your eyes and ears and physical senses could be something that puts you in the vortex or maybe not. And often is something that has resistance in it. So then we ask Esther to contemplate how what's in the vortex is not something that you can see or hear. In other words, this is a vibrational reality. This is a vibrational reality that if you allow it will manifest so that you can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it. But when it is in its vibrational state, if you are to participate in it, you have to participate in it as the vibrational being that you are. In other words, you have to feel it because you can't see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it until it manifests. Are you following? Yes. So this vortex of creation is a vibrational state of being, which is to say it's an emotional state of being. And so I think for, for me, what... I've been trying is the thinking my way through this whole process but the, but and what you're giving me is this feel emotional your way. Well, you can't pathway. separate the thought from the feeling, but this is sort of gives you a little advantage because when you're outside the vortex and you know you are and you want to be in, your perspective is I'm out and I want to be in. And where when you reach for a feeling, you're in more easily and then you can milk it and the whole point of it you see we're not trying to get you to stay in the vortex because we want you out there stirring up trouble for the universe <laughs> in other words it's normal that you would be out there selecting and and we want we want to say that that you're going to discover that there are even there are even vibrational variety inside the vortex in other words the difference between passionate or that powerfully energized feeling of excitement is a different vibration than ease. So, but all of them have no resistance within them, but the vibration is ramped up at a little faster speed in excitement than it is within ease. So there's plenty of differentiation. In other words, you can get to the point where you are cho choosing the majority of your motion forward from a range that is technically inside the vortex. You, you have the ability to get in there and be predominantly there and still move forward as you've intended. And let's face it, most of you have, from your outside the vortex exploration of life, 
put enough in your vibrational reality to keep you busy for 20 or 30 lifetimes in other words it's time for you to tune to that and let the good times roll right. so are you saying then that you could do a lot of your choosing and deciding from in the vortex that you don't have to leave the vortex yes but we want in and out of the vortex to not be such a big hairy deal uh -huh. in other words we want you to embrace your vibrational spectrum with the knowledge that on the other side of the wave is something really good and you can choose it anytime in other words sometimes you think about just uh, people who are exploring they want the adventure Jerry and Esther have friends who drove across the border into Mexico and got on a Mexican airline and flew to Puerto Vallarta and Esther said more adventure than I want <laughs> in other words she goes about it an easier way but they wanted the adventure of it you see and so so they'll have they'll have stronger contrast which gives them the potential of a of a bigger rush Esther likes her rushes to come in other ways there's no right or wrong in this you get to choose you get to choose how out of the vortex you are which is the leverage that gives you a big bounce you get to choose how long you hold yourself out of the vortex which has the potential of giving you bigger and bigger and bigger bounces you get to decide when you want to come into alignment it's just like molding the clay so we want you to get to the point that you have such knowledge and such capacity to guide your thoughts based upon the way they feel that you really are molding the clay enough that you can you could then be like the source within you who could view anything without losing your grip on your inside the vortex reality in other words when you reach the place as in our former conversation with a friend that you aren't suffering over the sufferings of others you can really help them without withdrawing your attention from them just with the knowledge of the capacity of love and alignment good a word alignment that you have and so it seems like the um, getting to the vortex through thought which is my predominant modality isn't it as effective as the following the thread of the feeling more than the thinking well technically we cannot separate the two because the way it really works is you focus a thought which generates a vibration which resonates in some way there's a vibrational relationship between the way the, your source is thinking and feeling about this and the way you are thinking and feeling about it and so every thing that you feel is because there is a vibration going on that's giving you that feedback but and so technically you think and then you feel but once you are thinking about feelings it's a back doorway in in other words to think about a feeling to think about the feeling of ease Esther as she was going through her alphabet she was thinking of appreciation and right away she in in the feeling of appreciation she thought about the other day she and Jerry were at their favorite restaurant it's a little place a little local place close to where they live in Del Mar and it's a place that's up and coming and they're so appreciating how it's evolving and they were sitting there just sort of appreciating and basking in the wonderful moment that they were having and and they were noticing a couple sitting at a new bar on a new bar stools sort of snuggled in together in total comfort in their environment and then she watched some people over there who were obviously just having such a good time and she's watching the staff moving around and and she is appreciating it was just one of those moments in time where the appreciation was so palpable that it was like the best moment that she'd ever lived in her life and she's saying to Jerry do you feel this and he was saying yes and then they sat there for an hour and tried to identify why it felt so good <laughs> why does this feel so good I think it's the new bar stools I do <laughs> I think it's that they're so comfortable look at those two look how comfortable they are sitting there maybe it's because they're in love that must be it they're really in love can you see that they're in love 
Listen to that lady smacking her lips. She's loving what she's eating. That must be it. Look at Tommy in the kitchen. See the grin on his face? I think that's what it is about. In other words, what is it? What, what is the reason that I feel this good? Why do I feel so good right now? Why do I feel so good? Let me count the ways. Why do I feel so good right now? Let me feel it and feel it and know it and practice it and vibrate it and hold it and know it and feel it. Let me practice this feeling. Let me practice it until I know it. Let me use this as a touchstone that I can use even when I'm not here. Let me know this. Let me and and you got to know the environment that they're focused upon benefits dramatically by that in other words it sends this vibrational advertisement from the rooftop of this place that says to anyone within a hundred miles if you want to feel good you should get off the freeway here if you want to feel good you should get off the freeway here in other words pockets of well-being are moving around and when you get hold of one and you practice the vibration of it you become a cooperative component to that and only that and then the universe says oh there's some of that over here 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 and of course it works just as well when you find a reason to be ornery the universe says oh there's more over here there's more over here there's more over here right great thank you very yes, much indeed.